to uh, Super Wednesday, uh, to the hearing of South Korea's foreign minister nominee, Kang kyung hwa uh, During her confirmation hearing, she placed a lot of emphasis on the need to completely overhaul a very widely disliked 2015 deal between Seoul and Tokyo on Japan's wartime search and enslavement of Korean women. With more details, here's Connie Kim. South Korea's foreign minister nominee has indicated she'll put the so-called comfort women issue as one of her top priorities as soon as she's confirmed the country's next foreign minister. In regards to the comfort women issue, I do my best to wisely continue dialogue with Japan, but from the perspective of the victims. In regards to the agreement between Seoul and Tokyo over Japan's wartime sexual slavery issue, the foreign minister nominee said as a person who has worked in human rights for six years at the UN that the deal has many odd aspects. Kang raised doubts on whether the deal was reached with a victims-oriented approach and made clear the agreement, although official, is not legally binding since it was signed by the foreign ministers of both countries. She also pointed out that the words of finally and irreversible are rarely used in diplomacy and mostly found in military agreements. Under the 2015 deal, the two countries agreed to resolve the comfort women issue finally and irreversibly with Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe offering an apology to the victims and Tokyo providing 1 billion yen, or roughly 8 million U.S. dollars, to a fund created for the victims. However, none of these measures fulfilled the most important demand by the victims, which was a formal apology by the government of Japan for its wartime atrocity. Amid the Korean public expressing strong dissatisfaction regarding the deal, Japan on its side is pushing forward with its move to garner support for the 2015 agreement. Such efforts include reports of Japanese media misreporting UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres' comments of him backing the deal after meeting Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. Connie Kim, Alum News.